Welcome to the 3D Cut Freak channel. Let's talk about curvature or the surface quality in general. Now in Fusion 360 you have a very nice uh, method of uh, checking the surface quality. Uh, you'll find that here in the inspect menu. There are two ways that I use very often. It's the curvature comp analysis and the curvature map analysis. When you click on that, you can select a surface and then you'll get a very nice colorful picture. But what does that colorful picture actually tell you? Let's go back to the curvature comb analysis and let's try this with only one edge. Select this edge and we get a nice comb. Maybe that's the reason why it's called comb analysis. Let's select the second edge and the analysis feature changes a bit and let's select this one and as you can see I'm really trying but it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Because this is a straight line and a straight line of course doesn't have any curvature. Well to start with let's try to describe what you can actually see here. Um, the curvature has no units. It's just a unitless number in general, you can say that an arc with a small radius has a high curvature and an arc with a higher radius or a bigger radius has a low curvature. Of course, if you, if you make the radius of an arc bigger and bigger and bigger, at some point it will get a straight line, the curvature will get lower and lower, and if it is actually a straight line, then the curvature is zero. And that's why you cannot select a straight line. Now, can you, can you see this uh, big step here from the, from the big curvature to the low curvature? This is something that you don't want. If you want a very nice surface and you want a clean look, uh, you want a smooth control for the curvature. Let's take a look at the curvature map analysis again. And now this makes a lot more sense. We now get three different colors. Okay, it doesn't make too much sense that you, we get a green color here, but let's assume that green is curvature zero. Red is a very high curvature and yellow obviously is a very low curvature. Let's go back to our Spaceship One fuselage that we created in the last video. This fuselage, of course, was created with uh, scum in sculpting mode. And let's see what the curvature map looks like on this fuselage. Now, there's a many different ways of, of, of selecting the scale. Of course, if you go to a very, very low scale, all has about the same curvature, zero curvature. You need to, you need to go up, but you shouldn't go up too high because as you can see everything is red it's uh, it's kind of an uh, infinite uh, curvature and you cannot you cannot see your your real surface quality but if you go somewhere in the middle and I, I really um, recommend that you go to that scale where it looks worse because that's exactly what, what you try to find out you want to know if the surface quality is good or bad a great feature in Fusion 360 is that you can click OK, the curvature map stays here, and even if you go back to Edit Feature, to the Sculpting mode, you can now continue sculpting that surface and you, you will get a real-time update of the curvature map. By close inspection of that surface you can say this is not too bad it's it's perfectly okay to have some um, different colors in this area because we have changing curvature in this area but it looks very smooth also here also here but there's obviously one problem and that's of course the tip I say of course because it happens very often. What can we see here? Well, we have a certain uh, amount of curvature which gets uh, bigger and bigger as the radius of that curve gets smaller and smaller. And in one point, we almost have the same curvature as up here. And that's where the tip sort of connects to uh, the rest of the surface. 
how can you change that? How can you how can you solve that? Well, it's very simple. So click that point, edit the form, and now move it back until the curvature looks better. Finish the form, and you'll now see a better surface quality. Let's try the same thing with the curvature comb analysis. Let's select the top edge here, the top edge of the fuselage, and look at it from the side. We have a convex shape in the fuselage up to this point, and it gets concave for a few millimeters, and then it's convex again. And of course, this concave area is expected. What can we do here? We'll change it. But unfortunately, the curvature comb analysis doesn't work in sculpting mode. So when you go back to sculpting mode, you'll lose the comb feature, as you can see here. So we have to make the curvature map to work so that we can actually see this uh, convex area. Well, there's still a little spot. Let's see if we can get rid of this. Now you can see that it's, it's that circle is just simply too small. So we need to increase the diameter, try to make it the same on top and bottom, increase the diameter by very little steps and go for 100 in scale. And now it's gone. Finish the form. Let's check with the comb again. And now this is always convex and never concave in this area. Thanks for watching and please make sure to also watch my other videos.